Hello everyone, my name is Julian. I'm here to do an album review. This time it's Coden Cambria's Afterman Collection, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've been waiting a long time to do this review since, you know, Ascension came out. I just thought about it, putting them together. But I'm not going to talk about songs specifically because I, I've done that both in Ascension and the Ascension, uh, Descension review. So I kind of just want to touch on like some plus points overall. Um, usually bands that come out with like 14 or 15 tracks in an album tend to have a lot of filler tracks or a lot of really weak tracks. And I don't know if it's because I'm a huge Goyden and Cambria fan that I feel it, these 18 tracks from Ascension all the way to the Ascension are all fucking great. They're all really powerful in their own way. They're unique and definitely not repetitive, which is one of those things that make Goyden and Cambria like pff, up there for me. Um... We have Josh back, which I know I touched upon back in the Ascension review, but I kind of just want to bring that back. And to all the Coheed fans, let you guys know, and I'm sure you already know, but just kind of a mutual understanding that there is a thing that Josh does bring to the table. There's this like energy and signature in his drumming that just sounds fucking perfect, and I'm glad you're back. Um, Zach is the new bassist, and he brought with him some more, more of a structured, uh, you know, not crazy <laughs> bass playing. He has his crazy parts, you know, in some songs like Mothers of Men or Number City where it's kind of funky, uh, Good Night Fair Lady, you know. But, you know, it's it's definitely not as crazy as it used to be with, like, Mike Todd, but it's not bad in any way. And I know everybody's going to compare him to Mike Todd, you know, like, oh, Mike Todd did this, oh, blah, 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 blah. But in reality, you know, we have to accept what happened. Uh, I wish the best of luck to Mike. Uh, I know in his condition. I don't want to really talk about that. But, um, you know, best of luck to you. But yeah, just stop the comparing because they're different artists. And with different artists, we just have new music. So we fall out of this whole maybe it's going to be repetitive. We just get a whole new sound, you know. And I think it's great because it makes dissension uh, sound way different. You know, just those two little things. Changing the basses and changing... The drummer makes the world of a difference. And I know because I make my own music. And when I work with different artists, like, different shit comes out. You know? And so, yeah. Um, Travis, you know, he's changed as well since second stage, turn by and blade. Uh, all the way up to now. And this is natural. It's a natural thing. But I do wish he was more prominent in his guitar playing. Um, I wish he played more than just Claudio's riffs every one, once in a while. Just have his own little second guitar all the way through, you know, not playing Claudio's riffs like he does in Goodnight Fair Lady or Century to Defined. And I know I talked about that in the Dissension review. But, you know, just want to get Travis back. Uh, but I got to put that out there. It's changed. And now to the big, big one is Claudio's vocals are no longer in that falsetto range that they were. And I don't think they'll ever be in both Ascension and Descension. He does every once in a while bring his voice up to a high point, but it's never like second stage or in keeping secrets with that being said it's the two albums have changed uh the sound once again you know i just talked about how ascension didn't sound like any other album and descension does sort of feel the same as ascension in like you know relating just because they probably made it at the same time and it has something to do with it but overall descension brings a popular happier side in ascension um and it doesn't sound the same, it just feel, it feels related just because of like, I guess, the old mother talking or the concept just being there so prominent now. Um, that it just feels connected, but the sounds are still very different. We have, um, you know, for the fans that haven't heard the album, or somebody who, who kind of stopped listening uh, to Coheed and Cambria because, I don't know, they didn't like No World and Year of the Black Rainbow or Good Apollo or whatever. Because I know a lot of people fight and comment a lot that you know, they kind of stopped caring for the band. I think this is a great point to pick it back up. Uh, it's not as heavy as it used to be with Year of the Black and No World. So you might be getting some of those happier tracks once again. And it's a great time to jump back in. Um, Concept-wise, this band is held to... I mean, this band. This, these two albums are held together by the All Mother and the conversations that she has with Cyrus uh, throughout the songs. Now, it works when the, you know, when you're listening to the album as a whole, but it doesn't work when you listen to it on shuffle or by itself, because when you get to the end of a track, you're just waiting for the album mother to come in and say something, and then 
some random song by some random band comes up and it's just it's awkward and it's weird if you're not listening to it as a whole so you got to keep that in mind as singles some songs are very annoying i have to skip century to define all the fucking time after it's over and other songs so keep that in mind um and i think that's pretty much all i have to say if i just because oh, other than that i'm just gonna go straight and dig into uh the songs again that's just not what i want to do i just want to say it's a whole new sound New artist means, again, just fresh new ideas, new energy, and I hope more to come from you guys. Um, Travis has changed, Clyde's vocals have changed, adding to that new sound. The concept is completely different, uh, and it's definitely more personal. I do, I forgot to touch on that. Um, Claudio made it so that it's more about him than it ever was before. It's super intimate, and I, I can tell that because a Gravity's Union, Away We Go, Tuesday, like all of Dissension is like straight in your face what the song is about like it's like this love thing going on you know and if you read the story you really you know you really know exactly why those are happening um but it's you don't need it you know what i'm saying it's like it's so obvious and it was never like that you know you go to paulo like what the fuck are you talking about you know um so the concept has made it this concept cyrus the afterman uh, has made it much easier for fans and non-fans alike to understand what the fuck Claudio is saying. And it's really nice, a really uh, personal thing that I never got with, you know, with previous albums. And it's nice to be able to have, like, a Coheed song that kind of sort of relates to me. Really, really cool. But yeah, so, again, all those put together, the concept, the connection, listening to this album as a whole is great. It is super long, so if you're not a Coheed fan then I guess this is not something you want to do because it's like 80 minutes of Goheed. Um, but for Die Hard fans, this is fucking perfect. And they might release it uh, as one album, you know? I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm making this shit up right now. But they might, you know, I'm hoping they release it in some sort of like the Afterman set or something. Um, anyway, I give this album a 9.5 out of 10. Ascension grew on me more than I, you know, than what I previously gave it. And Descension, starting off the bat, was fucking great. I love how there's the happy side and the dark side, you know. Ascension sort of dark, the stark thing happening. Um, and then, you know, we did Descension, this is like Number City, Away We Go, Two's My Favorite One, and just really happy tracks. And then there's like the um, dark side of me, Iron Fist, Sad, Love, Valley kind of things, uh, with progressive sound. Intricate playing is still there. Josh's amazing drums are still there new bass lines, and just everything overall is fresh. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna go see these bitches tonight. It's gonna be fucking great.